What's up, YouTube? It's Skeeterbird. Countdown months have begun. First off, the best weapon attachments. Number five, Akimbo. The question is not why is this attachment on the list, but why is this attachment only on number five? It turns any machine pistol into a fully automatic shotgun with a big magazine. Yeah, it's, it's bad. So, uh, I think we all know feelings for Akimbo. You either use it and have no problem with it, or get killed by it constantly and dislike it. Uh, FMG9s especially have a reputation, but I find the worst to be either Glocks or Scorpions. Glocks because they kill fastest after the FMG nerf, and Scorpions because they don't, well, don't have any recoil. Number four. Number four has to go to the red dot site. When you're the earliest unlocked attachment on all the primaries except for the, sh the shotguns and sniper rifles. And when you're available on machine pistols, and when you don't have really have any negative effects, it, there's really no way to not put you in the top five, especially when you're such a versatile attachment. Like the, uh, the red dot can be used effectively on any weapon. The reason it's not higher is it just doesn't quite bring as much to the table. Now, it's mandatory on some weapons, the M60 being one of them. Anoptic is mandatory on the M16, although I prefer the holographic to the dot on that gun. That's your choice. Long story short, short the dot always works and is mandatory on certain weapons. <coughs> M60. <coughs> Number three, rapid fire. Oh, here we go again. Rapid fire is controversial. On the PC, the rapid fire attachment actually works as all other rapid fire attachments do. Yes, I believe it was intentional that it doesn't work on Xbox. And the MP7 is a freak of nature with rapid fire on. You guys might not have had as many experiences with rapid fire, but let me say this. Holy crap, those SMGs are shooting fast. Oh, and if you combine rapid fire and speed, that... Uh, that big LMG feels like an assault rifle with a massive magazine. Yeah. This attachment's good. Probably too good. The only downside is a tiny bit of added recoil that adding kicker or grip more than compensates for. And it ties up your attachment slot. Oh, big deal. We're shooting way faster and killing people way faster. I like that. Number two. Extended mags. I don't like running out of ammo. I don't really like running scavenger either. I also don't like running dry in the middle of a clip. And sleight of hand only does so much. Extended mags will fix that at the cost of my attachment or proficiency. I love to pair extended mags with either the number one attachment, rapid fire, use it on a machine pistol to be able to draw quickly. Great attachment. Great attachment. No, absolutely zero downside. Lots of upside. Makes fast firing weapons. You know, be able to sustain firepower and, well, sustain ammo. Number one. You probably could have guessed it seeing as I made a note about extended mags. But the number one attachment is the silencer or suppressor. However you want to say it, it's listed as the silencer in the selection menu and the suppressor in game. Not a good way to start off, Mr. Suppressor Bro. But what this attachment brings to the table is a lot not being spotted by the being spotted on the minimap by gunfire is the easiest way to be found it's even easier than being found by a UAV well suppressor counters that being spotted by a big light going off in our room well suppressor counters that too what does it do it lowers my bullets to kill at medium range very slightly by dropping my range off no guys it doesn't mess with your damage What's more, the suppressor lowers muzzle flash. So on the PP90M1, those irons that aren't quite high enough all of a sudden become really, really good iron sights because of how open and precise they are. Yeah, does that on the ACR too. Now you can actually see through those things to be able to notice that they are probably the most freaking precise iron sights in the game. What does it do on the LMGs, you may ask? Well, it's a great choice on all of them but the M60 because it does absolutely nothing negative. They don't have 
a significant enough damage drop. I don't really consider losing my headshot bonus in close quarters a significant damage drop. So the suppressor lowers my visual recoil, which allows me to stay on target way more and gives me way more stealth bonuses. Woo-wee! I'm taking that. So what does that suppressor have not going for it? Well, not really that much. Yeah. I want, I want to hear your top fives all countdown months long. I also want to hear what you want to have next. I could probably do a top five fail moments. I know my friend has quite the epic one that he would love to have at number one, but I might have had one that trumped it. Anyway, it's been Skeeter Burn. I hope you enjoyed.